with American lives at stake, Place is confronted with one of the most difficult shots a sniper will ever face. He has less than two seconds to hit a man on a dead run six football fields away. There was a man in a white outfit, sandals on, AK-47, and he'd been turkey peeking back and forth. He was looking through a black door that they had that was swung open outside a house. And I don't think he understood that we could see his head and could identify a weapon. And right as he started to dash across, I was able to get a good mill hold, fire, and the round carried and hit him right in the upper part of the face. It was an immediate pass station shot, killed him before he hit the ground. In less than two seconds, Place takes out the sprinting insurgent from 600 yards. Well, the most difficult thing about those type of shots is trying to guess the speed in which the target's moving. The average sprinting target moves at 8.6 miles per hour. To compensate for this, Place must aim several feet in front of the running insurgent. This is known as leading the target. If we have a running target, you're not holding the crosshairs of the reticle on the target, so the reticle may be to the right or the left of the individual, depending upon where they're running. And when you squeeze the trigger, they're going to basically run into the bullet. The distance, or lead, is measured in mils. At 600 yards, one mil represents roughly 21 inches. The lead that I led the individual that was coming across the street was right about four and a half mils, which is a, that's a pretty big lead. Anything more than that, you're really stretching the capabilities of the scope. A four and a half mil lead at 600 yards means Place must aim eight feet in front of the target. If he's off by one mil, he misses by two feet. Traveling at 2,550 feet per second, the 175 grain round enters the cranial cavity, severing the brain stem in one half millionth of a second. In my scope, I witnessed that one shot, boom, this lump of crap fell, weapon fell, no movement. That's how deadly he was. And no one ever came out of that position again. 